grateful to be here. Looking back, it's hard to figure out how I got to suburbia. One moment you're studying for your college degree, then boom, you have a baby in your arms. God bless television. You sit your kids in front of it, and it's like hypnotizing chickens. <laughs> Mom never thought writing could be a career. Such a beautiful sound. If the Virgin Mary had lived on our block, we would have said, of course she has time to go to the dentist. She only has one kid. One horrified woman wrote me that if her curtains had wicks, they would have burned right through Advent. <laughs> Next thing I knew, I was in an oversized wedding dress I had bought on sale, and my mom was smelling like the baked ham she had cooked to take to the reception. <laughs> that was the last good meal we had for a while. Turned out, I was a terrible cook. Almost immediately, Bill told me he wanted to exchange some of our wedding gifts for something useful. A vending machine. <laughs> the only thing he didn't want to return was our smoke alarm. It told him when our dinner was ready. Do you have your lunches, your coats, your glasses, gym clothes, pens, pencils, milk money, and book bags? Love you all. Goodbye. <laughs> when your mother asks, do you want some advice? It is a mere formality. It doesn't matter whether you answer yes or no. You're going to get it anyway.